Jim's right here. No. <laughs> hey, Tony, Jim's right here. Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. We're going to begin the public session of the Herricks uh, Board of Education meeting for Tuesday, April 16th. Would you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, that's what's happening. So you wanted to say we're doing that? <laughs> Okay, we're going to move things around a little bit tonight. We're going to begin with the recognition of outstanding student achievement. Dr. Sinanis and Liz are going to give us the announcements. So um, we are, as a district, we're proud to recognize 27 talented student artists who were recently selected for the Art Supervisors Association All-County Art Exhibition, which took place in March at Clark High School in East Meadow. The students are selected to participate in the All-County Art Exhibition based on their artistic talent and dedication to the art program. Each Herrick's art teacher has a student represented at the exhibition. Congratulations to our students who were recognized with this prestigious honor, and thank you to our amazing art educators for inspiring their creativity and fostering the talent that is inside each of our amazing students. After I announce the students, I also will be recognizing, I'll just mention our teachers, so we would like our teachers who are in the audience to also be able to come up. I will call everyone's name. Um, Dylan Anello. Amber Hahn. <laughs> Colin Jang. <laughs> Charlotte Lamb. <laughs> Rui G. Lee. April Long. <laughs> Olivia Liu. <laughs> Christian Montani. <laughs> Jocelyn Mueller. Nolan Wong. <laughs> Micah Yu. <laughs> Choir. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, Micah. Oh, sorry, Micah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Choir Zhang. Abigail Stallworth. We have other students who may not be in attendance, but we will call them out. Gabriella Cardone. Yeah. I know, they may have shown up. So we, Fiona Chen. Connie Huang. Ellie Lau, Lillian Liu, Am Amelia Ma, David No, 
Sophia Piscano. Alexandra Sang. Isabella Varugis. Hey, Isabella. Sophia Vishit Panish. Betsy Yi, <laughs> Athena Jang. I'm sorry, it's Athena Jang. Sorry, Athena. Athena Jang. And Nathan Zhang. <laughs> and uh, can I, can they squeeze in? But I also, do we have a few teachers in our audience. So I do want to say thank you to our director, choir. Oh, Kyler. Oh, they spelled it. I'm so sorry, Kyler. They misspelled your name. Where's Kyler? Kyler. Where's Kyler? Oh, Kyler. Um, I'm, can I sorry. call our teachers out? Can, yeah, I'm sorry. There was a typo on the paper. I apologize. Um, would also like to recognize our director of fine and performing arts, Anissa Arnold, and our amazing teachers. I believe four of them are in the audience. We have only two. Okay, that's okay. Um, we have Alexa. Oh, no, she, no, we just have. Okay. Jessica D'Angelo and Amanda Rodriguez are here. But I will also just mention we have Dorian McDevitt, Jennifer Cavaluzzo, Allison Zabrowski, Kim Friedman, Cindy Parada, Alexis Danza, and Diana Evans are amazing cast of teachers um, who make this happen, so thank you. It's too wide. We have enough people. Right now, everybody looking at me, and then you can look at the, at the paparazzi behind you. We don't often get to celebrate like little moments. Wait, wait, we have another addition. Oh. Hold on. No, it's not there. I'm there. Just put it in. Just put it Yes. Oh, right. Give them another round of applause. <laughs> one more time. Right, smile one more time. The future Renoirs and We're still on video. <laughs> <laughs> So much, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Yeah, take a picture in front of the step and repeat. So I'm talking to Jarbo. Celebrate. I got a car for you. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> Hey. <laughs> no, I'll save that for. That's the post retirement. That's part. <laughs> correct. Going uh, Monday. 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 I'll see Mariah. Very excited. So I think it makes it very bright, but I don't know like Wait, is this oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, thank you all. We're going to continue. We're gonna to move to Roman numeral six. Thank you. Um, announcements and correspondence. So I'm going to start, as usual, with the high school reps. This week is Spirit Week here at the high school, and on Friday is Battle of the Classes. Yesterday was the pie eating contest where the oh. seniors won the most battle points, and this <laughs> afternoon was trivia. And each grade is currently working on decorating their murals to go along with their theme. And battle decorating for the hallways is this Thursday. And don't forget to dress up for Twin Day tomorrow. All right. Uh, you can also still buy your battle t-shirts, even if you haven't pre-ordered them this Wednesday and Thursday. It's never too late to get involved. Ask your student government reps about your dance or any other events to really get involved. And also parents, if you could also encourage your students to get involved, it's really a special moment for them, so they should really get involved. And not to forget to mention that all state qualifiers for Herrick's History Day won awards at the New York State History Day level, and we are the high school with the most awards at the state level and the regional level. And actually, I got to watch the middle school group performance that won first place. I feel like a parent, even though I'm only a junior. And yeah. they were so good. I was so proud of them. Oh. You are really an old soul at heart. So you know that, right? It's true. It's true. OK, thank you. Uh, board members, Brian? Um, no, I can't think of anything at this time. Julie? Um, I had the pleasure of going to an athletic boosters meeting uh, last week, I think it was. Um, it was my first time there in a while, and uh, it was riveting. So <laughs> lots of fun things happening. And uh, I got to see pictures of a soul from History Day. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it, go to the Facebook group, the Instagram uh, post of History Day, and you will see a true star. <laughs> Henry? Uh, I really have nothing other than to urge people to remember election day for budget and trustees, May 21st. Um, don't forget to register if you have it and get out the vote. Okay, Dr. Sinatis. Uh, sure, I would I would start by just mentioning we had a PD day, but I'll, I'll turn it over to Liz to just share some of the highlights from our professor. Uh, Peanut butter and jelly is also very much appreciated, but uh, professional development day, that is sun butter, yes, which is not something I choose to partake in. But um, we do have, we did have a great day on April 10th, um, last, was that last week? Last week? So, it feels like a long yes. time ago. <laughs> yeah, um, our teachers were engaged in, and, our, and actually all of our staff were engaged in a variety of activities, including really honing in on some of the district goals, um, looking at our portrait of a graduate, thinking about learning targets. And we also had um, Stop the Bleed, which was one of the trainings for our staff. Um, and we also had a guest speaker who is a New York Times bestselling author, um, John Chu, who came and really talked about how the storytelling, how important that is for our, hearing our students' stories and getting to the heart of who they are is an important part of what we do. It was a great day. Do you want me to add anything? You, you <laughs> sure. <laughs> you don't have to. Just, uh, no, we're good. We're, we're, okay. we're good. Thank you. Uh, Lisa, do you want to add anything? I, I've had plenty to say so far. So <laughs> Lisa and I did start our, our tour of the uh, budget presentations. We last night spent some time at Denton. 
which was lovely. And thank you to the Denton community for welcoming us and creating time and space for us to share the uh, budget presentation, the adopted budget presentation. Um, and so tomorrow night, we're going to be at Center Street. Um, and on Thursday, we will be at Searingtown doing the presentation. We also did the presentation at a district council PTA meeting a few weeks ago. Um, also, you'll get likely, um, I'm working on it at some point, uh, an update from me, our, our, our latest update will be our latest video update as well, but included in that will be information about the budget. An email went out last week with a link to a video um, uh, featuring the budget presentation. Tomorrow, um, between 6 and 6.45, Lisa and I will be available on a Google Meet for any community members who have questions about the budget who maybe have not had the opportunity to uh, speak to us uh, yet. So you'll get an email tomorrow reminding you about that uh, for tomorrow night. Um, I am excited to share that our girls flag football team won their first game. Um, they came back from behind and won their game. Yes, you draw, that was very significant. Um, so we're very, very, very proud of them. Um, and yeah, so, so it's been a busy time. We are uh, heading towards spring break, which is a little late than I guess it's, it's traditionally been. Uh, but for our families to know, schools are, are closed starting Saturday, April 20th, and we reopen again on Wednesday, May 1st. Uh, so that's coming up. And during that time, which is important to recognize, it is uh, Administrative Professionals Day. And so we do, while we're not here, but we will celebrate certainly after, um, just want to give uh, shout out to all of the um, administrative professionals who uh, work uh, with us in the district who help support the academic program, who help support transportation, special education, uh, all of our offices. Um, and we're very fortunate to have one of our most amazing colleagues in, in Betty Ann who's here, who, who does so much work there. But yeah, I think you too. And um, yeah, so we're excited. We'll celebrate that after our break. And then we'll also lead right into Teacher Appreciation Week and Nurse Appreciation Day, a bunch of wonderful celebratory um, events coming up. And we did have state testing today in grades three through eight. I forgot to mention. <laughs> but you know why? We didn't mention because it, it went seamlessly. Our kids did a great job. Our staff did a great job. It was um, digital, uh, computer-based testing. Um, and so, yeah. And so, virtually no opt-outs. And very few opt-outs. Yeah, less than a percent. So, yeah, thank you. All right, and on behalf of the, uh, the entire uh, Board of Education of the Heritage Community, the uh, school board and budget vote is held on, being held on May 21st. There are two seats open for re-election this year. Uh, Ms. Feinstein's seat is open and Brian Hassan's seat is open. Um, Ms. Feinstein has announced that she is not running for re-election. Mr. Mr. Hassan has announced that. Um, Okay, if you're looking for a petition or something like that for any of the uh, seats, you can find them at the district clerk's office and all the requirements needed to be able to run for uh, one of the two seats. Okay, moving forward, we're going to go to um, questions or comments from the public. This is the time period designed for the public to address the board. Please limit your questions or comments to three minutes per person. Guidelines include the following. The Board of Education will listen to comments and input from the public. Debate between members of the audience and or board members is inappropriate and will not be permitted. The Board of Education is not permitted to address personnel or individual student matters in public session. Operational matters should be directed to the school administration for handling. The person posing a question or comment must rise, come to the microphone and state their name. Only residents and employees of the district may pose questions or comments. Disclaimers are read. Any questions or comments from the public at this time? Okay, we're gonna move forward. Can someone move Roman numeral eight, letters A through E, please? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Henry, can you read uh, B, please? Uh, eight, A, please. Number uh, nine, nine, A. Nine, A, okay. Uh, new business. Vote on Pelosi's administrative budget. Uh, following resolution, upon the recommendation of Superintendent of Schools, Board of Ed hereby votes on the following resolution. Whereas Pelosi's has proposed and presented his proposed administrative budget for 2425. Uh, now, therefore, be resolved that NASA Pelosi's Proposed administrative operations budget 
for the 2024-25 school year in the amount of $27,131,117 B and hereby is approved or disapproved by this board. Approved. I have a second, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? I'll read the next one. Um, there are three seats available on the Natural BOCES board that expire June 30th, 2024. The seats are held by Susan Bertram, Martin Kay, and Michael Wynick. Each seat carries a term of three years. Each school board is entitled to cast one vote for each vacancy to be filled. Therefore, a total of three votes may be cast by each board this year. The following recommendation has been prepared for the board's consideration. Reserve the reserve, resolve that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby casts a vote for R. Alina Uzalov, Martin R. K., and Michael Wynick for the Office of Trustee of the Nassau County Board of Cooperative Educational Services. I have a second. Oh, somebody else, then you should move it. You should next move it. Okay, so can you move so it? So I will move that uh, as, it's right. be, as read. I will second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We're going to go to C. Brian? <laughs> Approval of revised policies. Um, resolved upon the recommendation of superintendent of schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the following revised policies. Such policies to be included in the Herrick's policy manual. Policy number 2200, annual budget vote and school board elections. Policy 5454, student automotive automobile use. Policy 8414, alcohol and drug testing of bus drivers and other safety sensitive employees and policy 8625 privacy and security for student teacher and principal data in its entirety I'll second. all in favor aye aye these policies have gone through the the uh, policy committee for review many times they're updated because the state requires us to make certain updates and that's what we do when we do this um, Julie, you want to move D, please? I can like move D in its entirety, the results of school breakfast survey. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, Henry, uh, why don't you move E, please? I'd like to move E, approval of the memorandum of agreement between the Herricks UFSD and the Herricks Association of Administrators and Supervisors, also known as HAS. Um, I'd like to uh, submit it as below. Um, be it further resolved that the board is hereby authorized to execute the new collective bargaining agreement, incorporating the terms of the memorandum of agreement on behalf of the Board of Education. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Brian. F and G, please. Sure, I'd like to move the approval of the Board of Registry date and appointment to the Board of Registry and appointment for election workers for the budget trustee vote on May 21st in its entirety. I'll second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, we're going to move H through R. They are all Nassau Bosi's letters of intent and riders. Can someone move those letters? I'll move letters H through R of their entirety, please. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Julie, you want to move S, please? I will move S. It's going to be a grant by Southwick University Center for News and Literacy in its entirety. I have a second. I'll second. You want to explain this one at all, anyone? Oh no, you're good. The, the Stony Brook thing, or we're good. It's ongoing work that we've been doing in our in our middle school, in high school, with news literacy. I don't know if you want to share anything else. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a grant. It's a grant that we've had for a while, and it's just being extended for one more year. Okay. Thank you. To the agent. 
And it was in the amount of $30,000. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We're going to move forward now to Roman numeral 10. Questions or comments from the public? Uh, I believe everyone in the room was here before, so I'll save my breath. Um, are there any questions or comments for the public at, for, for the Board of Education and the public at this time? Nope. Okay. Seeing none, do any of the board members have any new business and future agenda items? Okay. Number 12. Uh, future business meetings are held as follows. At 7.30 p.m. May 9th at the Community Center, it will be our budget hearing regular meeting and our tenure reception on may 21st which is a tuesday is the budget and trustee vote here at the community center on may 23rd at the community center it'll be our re a regular meeting and our recognition of retirees and student representatives and on june 6th at the community center will be a regular meeting seeing no more business can i have a motion to adjourn a motion to adjourn Oh, into executive session, Brian. Oh, sorry. Make a motion to go into executive session. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy the holiday. Have a great spring recess. Bye.